You know how companies will sometimes hold these testimonial contests where they invite people to tell us in a hundred words or less why you love bounce detergent or Toll House cookies or whatever. And then they pick a winner and put his testimonial up on their website and award him $10,000. Do you ever wonder why they do that? It seems like kind of an expensive way to purchase a testimonial for their website. Well, what's actually going on there is something called the commitment effect. So when you commit yourself to an idea or a position, whether that's by writing it down or saying it, or especially by writing or saying it publicly, you're making that idea or position feel a little bit more like part of your self-image, and you're more likely to support it in the future. So when you write that paragraph, uh, I like bounce detergent because it makes my clothes fluffy soft, uh, even if you're only writing that because you want a shot at winning the $10,000, it still, statistically speaking, makes you more likely to support or prefer bounce detergent in the future. Um, so that's actually a really good deal, spending $10,000 to make thousands of people more pro-bounce detergent. So what's the upshot of the commitment effect for you? Well, one upshot is that it means you need to be kind of careful about positions that you defend to other people on a regular basis. So you know how you get kind of used to explaining uh, why you decided not to have children or why you decided to go to law school or um, why it doesn't make sense for you to get a driver's license or why you're, you support this political party or that political party. And you sort of have your set things that you say about um, your position whenever the issue comes up. And you don't even really need to think about it anymore. You can just sort of rattle off your argument. Well, every time you make that argument, you're entrenching yourself a little bit more, committing yourself a little bit more to that position. And that makes it harder for you to notice in the future when, uh, you know, evidence comes up that suggests you should change your mind. So uh, I think it's worthwhile to just revisit those kinds of issues every now and then, see them with fresh eyes as if you hadn't made up your mind about them yet and ask yourself, well, okay, should I have children? Or uh, should I be in a law career? Or, um, you know, should I support this political party instead of that one? And for me, the big danger in this regard is, well, what kinds of topics do I uh, repeatedly make arguments about to people publicly? Um, rationality is important and cool and useful. Um, and I believe those arguments, but I'm also aware that making them repeatedly, publicly, commits me a little bit more to them. And I want to be able to change my mind if evidence comes up at some point that should make me change my mind, or at least make me a little more or a little less confident in what I think. So I try to make a habit of revisiting these questions, just asking myself, okay, do I think rationality is important or useful or valuable? Um, what are some what are some arguments against? Um, just so that I'm a little bit less committed to that position and able to change my mind if it's warranted.